few months ago, I drove the Tata Punch and came out genuinely surprised at how awesome a package it was. And then when I got back home, I thought of a devious plan to see how well it could stack up against its rival. So we decided to compare it differently, compare it against benchmarks from different body styles. First up was the Amaze, which the Punch dominated. And now on to an even tougher rival, the Swift. Now, if you're wondering why we're comparing an orange with an apple, that's probably because if you go to your local fruit vendor, these two probably cost about the same. And some people like the apple, some people like the orange. I like both. So, which is why we thought we'd cross shop these two as well, because both of these cost about the same in the market today. And as you know, people now buy cars according to the kind of money they have to spend and not according to what body style they like. So, I thought it would be apt to compare these two. The new boy versus the old guard. One of the most popular cars in India versus one that seems to be getting there rather quickly. Apt, isn't it? Now, before I actually get into these and drive it, let me say this. Both these cars here today have a design language that I and most people in general will like. Neither of these cars have haters, if you can call it that. And look at them. The punch looks so current, so urban, so out there. And the Swift, well, that's always going to be the best looking Suzuki out there, period. But personally, I'd put some 17 inch wheels on there right away. Both these cars are really begging for nice big wheels. Well, you see, this is technically the fourth video that I have made about the punch on our channel. And if you've seen the other three videos, there might be some baits that are repetitive. But for the sake of somebody who's watching this video for the first time, and we think there are going to be a fair few of you who are going to be watching this comparison test for the first time ever. Let me have some repeated points that I would like to make about the punch. As I've always said, this has the best right comfort of any car under 10 lakh rupees and i'm gonna stick by it it is genuinely just unbelievable how comfortable this car is over any terrain at all you can hit a speed breaker at 40 kilometers an hour and it'll just shrug it off like nothing's gonna happen like an italian man would hey hey nothing's happening <laughs> okay never mind uh, i would also like to talk about how lethargic the engine is because it just is it's a fact of the matter it's something that you can't really escape or not talk about and as I've always said, if you are going to get one, get the AMT because a more relaxed gearbox fits this lazier engine a lot, lot better. I'd also like to talk about how the interior is because in terms of the way it's designed, I really like how simple they've kept it. I like how timeless they've kept it. I like the fact that this, after 8 or 10 years, will still look fresh. You know, you've got this nice little... Uh, sort of tablet like screen that's popped up on the dashboard it could be a little bigger of course but well it's not bad it's clear it's crisp it does what it's supposed to do it's got all the latest tech it's got a really nice and informative uh, in instrument cluster which is semi-digital and semi-analog and that's something that i like as well and there are some points that i don't like too in the interior like for example some of the plastics feel a little bit cheap but overall this is a very nice place to be and it doesn't feel like a 10 lakh rupee car it feels like a little more expensive. It feels like something that you would normally find in a compact SUV, like say a 14, 13, 14, 15 lakh rupee SUV, so a segment up. And that's a good thing. If you're looking for your first car to be treated to something that feels slightly more premium, that feels slightly better, is always a great thing to have. And that's a big plus point for the punch as well. But talking about interiors, I think it's time now to go and hop into that Swift because uh, if this is timeless and classic, that is as funky and sporty as you can get on the 10 lakh rupees par exception. Every car engine undergoes a lot of stress in city driving, particularly during warm-up and in stop-start conditions, whether it is due to traffic or short trips. Ordinary car oils may not be enough to protect your car engine 
and that is why we recommend fully synthetic Castrol magnetic stop start for non-stop protection. You know what's the interesting thing about the Swift and something that's always been the case with the Swift? It's something for everybody. It's sporty yet sensible. It appeals to the 18-year-old kid. It appeals to the 65-year-old uncle and everybody in between a lot. But this one, this one is a little more special. This one is a little sportier than ever before because of all these little red accents on the instrument cluster, all that grey plastic that sort of um, just looks like it's... Well, it's trying to be a Mini-esque, isn't it? It's always been uh, inspired by Mini, if you would call it that. But, it is still a sensible car. It does everything that you would want it to do. And these newer ones are also very well built in terms of just how everything sort of is. You know, this climate control cluster, for example. I mean, a Maruti getting that is just a cool thing to have, isn't it? Now, I mentioned earlier with the punch that that is classic and timeless. This is classic and timeless too. But I think as we move towards a more digital console across prices and across strata, this might appear to be just a little bit more old school. It might appear to be too analog in some cases. What isn't analog though, What isn't analog though is that K12 engine. How many years has it been now? 2008, 9 since the engine was actually introduced. And of course, the newest version of this engine has a mild hybrid system, but basically it is still the same car. Maruti sadly doesn't have one in the fleet, so we had to borrow one from a friend. How can this engine after so many years still put a smile on your face? Even with this AMT gearbox, which isn't exactly the best in class or isn't exactly the best period. Maruti just gets that so right every single time, doesn't it? It's on the ball. You know what else is on the ball? The way this thing handles. The punch is a well-balanced chassis. This is much better. Six thousand RPM in every gear. <laughs> it's stuff like this that differentiates this car. It is mass market. Yes, I mean it's the definition of mass market. And yet, and yet, it is such a joy to drive. The other big, 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 big difference between the two, of course, is their NCAP safety rating. And for a lot of people, that is a deal maker for the punch and a deal breaker for the Swift. That's just the reality of it. The punch gets five stars and the Swift gets only two in the global NCAP ratings. And yes, the Swift does meet all its Indian regulations, but apples to apples or well, apples to oranges in this case, you will be safer in the Tata. Let's give you a verdict because that's what we do here on Power Drift. And before I give you that verdict, let me make a confession. No, let me make two confessions. Confession number one. I still really like the Swift. It's a car that has my heart. And if I was to buy another car for say about 10 lakh rupees to replace my now 10 year old personal Swift, I'll just probably buy one of these and give it to my driver so I don't have to worry about maintenance or scratches or everything's easy to run, easy to sort of fix, etc. But you cannot discount the kind of effort Tata has put into the punch. And this review, this video is about your first car and you want more from your first car. Yes, the Swift is way better to drive in terms of engine performance, but for everything else, I think the punch maybe does it slightly better. Of course, design is something that's a personal perspective. I think this looks nicer than the Swift does. Maybe not in this color, but in another color. The light bluish green that we drove right in the beginning. But overall, it's got more space and that's what you want from your first car. It's got 
I think a nicer looking interior in terms of design, that's again something you want from your first car and you do want to actually sort of not blend in when you buy your first car. Some people do want to blend in. Second confession, this has been one of the most difficult comparison tests I have done in my life. But it is time for a verdict and apples to oranges, tonight I'm taking the orange home. I think the punch is a better first car. You know what? I've just had a bit of a Eureka moment. Remember Tata's more car per car philosophy with the Indica? I'd say this, the punch, does it even better. <laughs>